Off in the old white first in, boys. Yo, what is up, live and proud crowd? I'm in the truck with my buddy, Jeshua Foster. Go follow his YouTube channel if you haven't yet. It's just Jeshua F. I'll leave it right here on the screen. He's going to be shooting a truck today. Are you gonna be shooting a truck? Like, Please. you're really gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. You're really gonna do it. So, go follow him. Just want to make it known that for the next four days left of this 12 Alf Cummins giveaway, I figured the last three or four days are when most people are going to enter. So, since most people are gonna be entering anyways, I figured, well, most people are gonna be entering right now, so why not give them some more stuff? Because they're trying to win a truck, why not give them some free cash with their merch? So every single order, not just some, not just one every 10 orders, every single order gets cash in their order. Doesn't matter if you're from Canada, Brazil, Mexico, it doesn't matter. Uh, every single order is going to get cash back, US dollars, which would make sense since it's, <laughs> since it's a US giveaway. Definitely, definitely do. This giveaway is almost gone and we're probably not gonna be doing another 12 hour giveaway quite like this one for a long, long time. Um, things, we're gonna try to shift things up and do a little bit different stuff here on the channel. So, and it was get entered while you can. Every $15 still gets you entered to win, even though you're gonna get cash back and you may end up getting cash back and being like, oh, I didn't pay quite as much as I thought for those entries. You're still gonna get the entries and it still counts. So definitely do that while stuff is still in stock a little bit. And this giveaway is over in a few days. So get entered while you can, link in description. Right now we're actually headed out to pick up my brother from practice. And then after that, we're gonna get to the barn and talk about a topic that I want to address with you guys regarding uh, not just some of the trucks that are in this giveaway that we're going to be getting back here within the next couple of days, but also regarding some new content and a uh, new direction for the channel. Okay, so this is kind of uncomfortable, but it's okay because we're not going to be here very long. I just wanted to talk about a few things. If he can stay here and not fall over, but it's totally cool, bro. It's totally cool. Right, we did right, get right. these sick maximum overdrive transmission hats from Maximum Overdrive. Super cool people down there. Um, like I said, their shop, there's like nothing in Red Key, but they have a good transmission shop. So I guess the priorities are straight around there. Let's get into the topic of why we're having this conversation right now, sitting on these uncomfortable tires. Okay. It's something we really got to discuss. This 12 valve giveaway is about over, right? And when we're done with this 12 valve giveaway, I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling any of the trucks that don't get picked or if I'm gonna keep them. And the reason I would even consider selling is because I'm thinking about, dude, can you just calm down, bro? I know it's uncomfortable. You just gotta deal with the pain, it's man. My booty. With that mud train tire just pinching your flesh back there. <laughs> That's all gonna be in the video, by the way. <laughs> Trying to figure out if there's a different truck we wanna get into. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a different, completely different branded engine and stuff like that but I would like to get into expanding the horizons a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna be getting rid of, I'm not necessarily gonna be getting rid of the Dually and the Red First Gen if they aren't picked. And if Nasty Red doesn't get picked, my dad's just gonna keep that forever. That was just kind of a time crunch as to why I had to, you know, pay for the mods on that truck to use it for the giveaway. But anyways, all that aside, what I'm getting at is I don't know what trucks I'm gonna keep after this giveaway, whichever ones are left. Except for, like I said, Nasty Red's left, I has not keep it. If one of my 12 valves are left because somebody picks one of my two trucks, then, I might keep it, but if I have two left, I might let one of them go and replace it with something else different. And when I say different, I'm talking like either Duramax, and I want to do something new or different. So something, I like I took a vote on my YouTube community, I said, do we want to do something, What like what was your favorite truck of 2015? Favorite heavy duty diesel? I said Chevy, Ford, or Dodge. Now, of course, well, Ram, I'm sorry, Ram guys, it's a Ram now. Since 2011, it's been Ram, it's not Dodge okay. anymore. So right. don't get that mixed up. I didn't know that. Totally different. Basically, you know, GM, Chevy, GMC, Duramax, Chevy, doesn't, they're all the same thing. It was like 25%, 25% basically Ford and Chevy, and then it was like 50% they want to see a uh, fourth gen Cummins. Um, and then I did another one, which is like Ford, Chevy, or Eco Diesel, or fourth gen, and pretty much nobody wanted to see an Eco Diesel, although eventually it would be cool to do something like that. He said he didn't even know that they were they had been around that long. Yeah, they've been around a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, a handful of years now. But Pretty So cool. apparently not as many people want to see an Eco Diesel, although I might daily drive one at some point because it does sound cool to do compounds and deletes on something like that. But I don't know. That time might come. So I guess my question is, what would you guys like to see in terms of that? Like I said, I did a vote, but not everybody knew about that. And so I want to get everybody's 
feedback from the video in the comments and let's see which comments get the most likes. Fourth gen Cummins, you know, a newer Duramax or a newer Power Stroke. A newer Power Stroke is in like 15, 16 area. Duramax is in 15, 16, you know, fourth gen is in 15, 16 year range. Um, just to change it up a little bit, do something that we can actually put a tuner on because we can't do it with any of the trucks we've been doing except for the 7.3. Uh, but do something that we can tune and do some other stuff to that's just a little bit different than what we're used to just to change it up and get a little bit of a different twist of content. Now also keep in mind, just because we get a newer truck for the channel does not mean that we're ditching the concept or the idea of getting an OBS to work on an OBS 7.3. It doesn't mean that we're not going to be building the two-wheeler drive truck. I actually, me and Owen, the guy who's working on the red truck right now, we were talking about doing uh, the two-wheel drive truck and building that for 750 horse and he's like, uh, yeah, he's like, if you get the parts, you get the stuff, you bring it over, we can, I mean, we can figure it out and nail it down. So he's like, we can have a, you know, the cab off the bed off and do all your suspension, your transmission upgrades, you know, take care of your frame and just all that stuff and then have the engine out on a pallet and build it, which would be sick. Mm -hmm. So be able to just stand around the engine and build it versus leaning in over hood. It's, it's just easier to do it that way, less in the way and just more convenient. And then also, it's only a matter of two bolts to pull the engine out on those things and then just your bell housing. But so, so that's, that's what we're gonna do with that truck for 12 out content as well. But I just want to take a modern twist to it in terms of a newer truck for content. Now, that all being said, we're done with that topic. And I was gonna ask you some questions. We got the giveaway ending in four days, I think. So we got four more days left of this giveaway. We don't have any of the trucks here. All have different reasons. They're all getting worked on. And that's why I don't work on them all myself. I mean, why would you wanna work on your own trucks, you know? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know who would want to do that. Seriously. Clutch work done, one's getting other stuff done, and another one's getting frame body work stuff done. So it's just, they're all getting stuff done. Just a lot of work going on. If you haven't seen Asteroid done yet, and I have not no. either, Jacob said he's got something in store for me that's a little bit, not, in terms of paint scheme and stuff, he's keeping it the exact, the exact way that I want it. But he said that he did a couple little things that are going to take the truck to a whole new level. Don't know what that is, don't know what that means, but he won't let me see. So we're going to find out when it gets here. But between Nasty Red, the five-speed dually when it's not dusty and it's actually polished, mm -hmm. and the Red First Gen, have you seen it since the wheels and tires are on it? No. Are you serious? I'll have to pictures, show pictures, I'll, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to show right now. But it looks it looks about the height of this truck, just so you guys have perspective. Not that you guys have seen this truck in person, mm -hmm. but it's about the height of this truck, but just 31-inch tires, not 33, so it's just a yeah. little bit lower. But in terms of the way it sits, in terms of stance and appearance, that's how it looks right there. It's an absolutely gorgeous truck, like unbelievable. That's something I would want to roll around in town in, like yeah, like but just keep it classic yeah. and classy. Like, like I want my truck to look mint, painted, and get nice wheels, chrome wheels, and stuff like that. But since I already have my first gen, I probably stick to to one of the second gens because I already know what it's like to be in a first gen. Clack, 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 every bump you hit. Yeah. And the second gen, it's amazing the difference between 91, 98. It's like. I mean, it's been quite well, a while. It's but. just 93 to 94. Yeah. Like, that's the difference in between a drivability, um, handling, and just suspension. It's just a lot different. One year, they made a lot of changes. The second gens are just more daily practical. Yeah. Um, so, honestly, same for me. Like, that's a truck. I want to keep the red first gen. If it's not picked, which if it's picked, I will miss you, sweetie. I'll get a different first gen at some point that's more of just like a classic stock, keep it classy, Sunday mm -hmm. driver just to keep it running, but not like a daily truck. They're just not like a nice daily truck for no. comfort. Now, for guys that daily drive them, they are great trucks. They're reliable as crap, and you're never gonna have many issues with them. Um, they're just not super comfortable, if you're into comfort at all. If you're not, then cool, they'll last forever. But, um, man, that's a tough pick for me. I'm not sure which one I would pick. That would be really tough. It just depends on your wants. So, I like, would... what would you go with? If, if it was between Nasty Red and the Dually, then? Nasty Red, just for maneuverability stuff like that practicality and, and I I mean my job I have to drive through downtown all the all yeah. the way through downtown across Fort Wayne to go build houses and it's like sitting there with a manual press the clutch and go stop go stop yeah because I was just in town with Big Red like four days ago yeah it's horrible it so. was horrible going through construction bumper to bumper said clutch in clutch out clutch in clutch out it was just it sucked yeah. and then my mom's trying to call me and I'm like one wheel on the thing one wheel on the hand I'm like I can't Call, no, yeah. call, can't do it. So um, it's just, so they're cool. I love, like if you just know something cool and you're just, oh, yeah. you love manual, cause some people just love manual feel and they're not in traffic every day. They're just towing from farm to farm. 
awesome. That red first gen is the most, by far the most beautiful truck you've got. And I haven't seen Nasty Red, and I'm, last time I saw it didn't look that great, but it's just clean. The red first gen is just so clean. There's something about a clean classic truck. Like this one is is like so much cleaner than even, well, I guess not cleaner than mine, but painted yeah, much cleaner. nicer. <laughs> and, cleaner, and honestly, it's rust. just like, like, oh man, I'd love to ride around in that thing just because it's beautiful. But I guess so far, as far as like practicality, Nasty red. Though. Even though it's got so much power and it's got a flatbed. It's so practical. I mean, yeah. it's built now. The transmission's built, engine's built. But I mean, body's gonna be clean. Turning radius, great. You know, I don't know. Better than the seven Better than the dually. Better than <laughs> the, the Ford, for three. sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, for me personally, I don't know which truck I'd pick. That'd be so tough. It just depends. Do I haul? Do I just daily drive it and want to haul, like, on the weekend once in a while? Mm -hmm. Once a month? Or do I already have a daily driver truck or car and I just want to have something that's just classy and going to hold value and just go up. If I was just wanting a classic truck that's never going to depreciate, big red. If I was going to take a truck that has a ton of done to it, so it's not a stock truck, so it's not going to be kept as like a classic because there's so much done, but I just like cool stuff, I would go with Nasty Red because mm -hmm. of just flashiness. If I was somebody that hauled stuff and whatever, I worked on a farm all the time and I always needed to haul hay or haul grain wagons, stuff like, I'd probably want the dually. So that's what I'm saying, like depending on who wins, it really depends. Everybody's asking me which truck's gonna get picked, which truck's gonna pick, get picked, you know, take your guess. I'm like, it really, de like me and him would pick a totally different truck. Yeah. It's just, it really depends on who gets picked. Cause like, I couldn't believe Big Stinky got picked. I was like, everybody was raving over that dually. Big Stinky. Okay. Like, without question, which one? Big Stinky, for sure. I was like, it's yours, man. That's yours, but it's just, it's just depends on the person. That's yeah. all. We need some better chairs. Does anybody, you guys know of any, like, better chairs and recommendations for shop videos like this? Let us know. I guess we could just buy, like, some $10 fold-up yeah. chairs. Well, it's not comfortable. It's a little therapeutic. <laughs> so if you don't have a woman in your life, sometimes you need your butt pinch. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard somebody say that. I'm just messing That's around. funny. That's weird. Yeah, I don't. I have, my, I have a woman in my life. Yeah, so I don't here. get my butt pinched, so yeah. I don't. I never. I wouldn't have said that, but and I don't need my butt pinched. <laughs> I'm not gay, but I do have a GMC. <laughs> but he does have a GMC. He's about to shoot. So if you guys want to yeah. watch that video, yep. he's gonna shoot his truck. He's trying to come back strong with the shooting his truck video and some other stuff. Don't forget to enter the Ultimate 12 Valve Giveaway. We are just down to the last few days. It ends September 30th, and when we are filming this video, it is the 25th. You guys don't want to miss out. It's going to be gone. Like I said, I've said this a lot of times last week, we're probably not going to be doing a 12 Valve Giveaway like this one for a long time. So if you guys are diehard 12 Valve, 12 valve guys or diehard Cummins guys, this is a really good opportunity because you get to pick through three different trucks um, that are just different in their own way, completely different in their own way, depending on what you want, trying to, you know, get the main things that people would want out of the variety of people out there interested in those trucks and cover the bases. Every $15 is another entry to win. You spend 15, you get one, 30, you get two, 45, you get three, so on and so forth. The more you spend, the more entries you get. That's how it works. And every single order gets cash back anywhere from the 25th at midnight until 11.59 p.m. on September 30th. Every single order gets cash. Doesn't matter where the order's going. Doesn't matter how much you spend. It, you're gonna get cash back, every single one of you guys. I figured the last four days, most people are gonna spend their money yeah. on those last days because they're like, ah, might as well enter. Might as well give you guys some more cash back because if you're thinking about entering, why not win some more stuff? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're gonna spend it's your- like, it's, that, it's that time of year where everybody's starting to buy hoodies and stuff like that anyways. Yes. Yeah. And I was talking to somebody the other day at work Tell him about Malachi and his giveaway and stuff because I can't enter. I would totally enter if I could, but since we're associated, with his girlfriend texts and she's like, "Can I enter his giveaway yeah. today?" <laughs> she can't even enter because yeah. you can't be any association with the person. Yeah. But I was telling the person about it and he was like, "That's that's so cool." He's like, "I could literally get a hoodie for the fall coming up that I could work in or whatever I want to yeah. do." And he's like, "And if I don't win, I just get a freaking nice hoodie, or if I win, I get a super baller truck and I can either sell it or keep it or work with it." And, he, and it was just like, and that's what I yeah, and that's what I was telling him too because I've had some people message me like, "Oh, dude." Well, I don't know if you're, am I going to have to pay taxes on it or I'd rather just have cash or stuff like I'm like, you are totally open, like you guys are totally allowed to sell the truck. You do not hurt my feelings if you get this and you sell it a month later. That is totally up to you. It's whatever you want to do. It's your mm -hmm. truck, your property. You can do whatever you want with it. I mean, that is, it's really up to you. I, I do not care either way. I'd love for you to keep it, but if you want to sell it, you have to sell it. That is it's cool. It's whatever you want to do with your vehicles. I don't think I have a problem selling any of those trucks no. for a pretty penny. I think they'd all sell pretty quick for a yeah. pretty good amount of money. So, um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much. 
that's where we're going to leave it for the video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.